Don't move in with a woman. <laughs> don't do that. Why not? Why not? <sighs> All right, let's say you yeah. move into her house. Mm. Yeah? Forget about you two leaving your parents' house and going and renting somewhere together. Yeah. If you move into her house, yeah, she's going to have the power. And unfortunately, mm. yeah, men need to have the power. That yeah. don't mean you need to be a dictator. That don't mm. mean you need to be evil or anything mm. like that. Yeah. But you need to have the power. You need to put yourself in a position where you can walk away from the woman. Because yeah. at some point, she's going to test you. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. going to do something disrespectful and raising your voice and obviously mm. not going that that um, doing anything mad is not going to mm. help the situation. No, you need to leave. Yeah. Women only understand then, action. That's it. Yeah. So you need to put yourself in a position where you need to leave. I'm a grown ass man. I ain't got time to be showing my girl I'm a, I'm a tough guy or yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't take no nonsense. So mm. I have to keep going back to my mum's yard. And certain man, let's say they're from Edmonton, where I'm from, mm. they might move um, to their, where their girl lives in Reading, yeah? And then they get a job around there. So logistically, it's better for them to stay in Reading. Mm. What if that girl disrespects you and put you in a position where you need to leave? She says, shut your mouth or get out of my yard. What are you going to do? You're going to give her a mean stare? <laughs> yeah? yeah? Or say, don't finished, speak to yeah. me like that? No, you got to mm. leave. Yeah? Now, if you go back to your mum's yard, remember, you still you live in Reading. You still work in yeah. Reading, you know? Yeah, so you're you still drive commute from Edmonton to Reading. To, to Reading every day? I've, I've done that once. Mm. I was on a contract and I had to go there now and then. Mm. Madness, two hours. You can't do That's that. That's long. Yeah. Then, okay, you have to stay in Reading. Now you're renting a room with some mm. dirty housemates and that. Mm. It's long. It's long. So it, have your own, have your own space or what? Let, what about letting the woman move in with you then? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. My situation, my girl lives mm. with me. So mm. if anyone's leaving, it's not that, me. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not yeah. me. It's not me. Mm. I had a coaching session with a boy the other day. Mm. He's young, like 22. He's got a girlfriend in there. And he said she's pushing for them two to leave their parents' house and mm. go and move together. Naturally, mm. don't make her a bad person. That's what you do, innit? Yeah. I said to him, my friend, do not do that. Because at some point, the relationship is probably going to resolve, yeah? Mm. Uh, dissolve, yeah? And... Let's say, yeah, when you move out, your monthly payments, your monthly bills are a grand or something, mm. yeah? Let's say you move in with her for three years and you break up and that. So for 36 months, that's three years, yeah? Mm. You've been paying a, f- a thousand pounds, yeah? Mm. You're going to leave your girl's yard when you lot break up, yeah? Well, the, yeah, you lot going to leave the girl's yard when you break up. You're going to go back to your parents' house. You're going to go with a damaged ego and a broken and heart a br- yeah. with nothing to show. Mm. No so money you spent back. all that grand as well? Nothing. Mm. So yeah, I would never recommend anyone moving with a yeah. girl. Yeah, never. have your own. Yeah, have your own space. At have some, your own space. Because at some point you're gonna have to show her you mean business. Mm. And I know a man that said to me, "Ah, oh, I'm lucky. My girl doesn't. Um, the the council property that they live in, he's on the tenancy agreement, so she can't technically evict him or kick him out. Right. Yeah. Unless he does something mad, yeah, yeah. and then they have to call the police. But let's say she just says, "Oh, get out of the yard. He doesn't have to go." Some people might think that's a good thing. Oh, you can't be kicked out by the girl. But st- now you're not going to exercise the power to yeah, walk away from her. Exactly. So, so you're, you're actually going to, you're more likely to stay in that environment. Exactly. Even if it's toxic, you're still going to stay. And she's going to think to us subconsciously, okay, you, can't you, go do, anywhere. you do legally, can stay. You can stay here mm. legally and that. But you know what? The way I've spoken to you, you should have walked out. You should have taken your big Ikea bag and, and gone. Yeah, yeah, gone yeah, yeah. back <laughs> to somewhere in your mom's yeah. house. You ain't done that. Mm. So then, yeah, it's all it's all long, man. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. What do you think of like going on dates and that? Then like, because you know, people say, oh, man, them should pay and go to restaurants yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, What's yeah, your thoughts yeah. on that? Yeah, man, them should. Yeah. Pay. <laughs>